Hello, it's Davida. Welcome back to Abstract and Flow. How about some pearls? I haven't done a pearl pour in a few months, maybe. So let's get straight to the colors. Tonight I am using, let's see, we have some Deco Arts Metallic Rich Espresso, Windsor Newton, and this is Camden Orange Hue. <clears throat> I'm going to throw in some Liquitex Camden uh, Deep Red Hue. Very thin consistency for this pearl pour. Here's the uh, Camden Orange. Very thin consistency. Rich Espresso. Um, yeah, those three colors. Oh, a little bit of Artist Loft Block. Artist Loft Black. Can I speak tonight? Okay, so that's what we're doing. Here's our cloud mix. Recipe will be in the description box. And the paints were mixed with... One ounce of paint to two ounces of Liquitex Point Medium. Um, the espresso, I actually did one ounce of Liquitex and a half an ounce, yes, 1.5 ounce of the paint because it's a little thinner than the two paint. So we are going to pan down the camera and get this pour started. Here we go. Okay, this is a repurposed canvas. And we got some good flowage going on. Don't want to go over the edges just yet. And I think I see something right there. Okay, where'd he go? I know I saw something. Yep. Look at that. Telling you. All right. So we are going to do something whimsical, I think. I'm going to start off with the Rich Espresso. a little more. Now we're going to do our Candian Deep Hue. <clears throat> Candian Deep Hue. And our Let's add a little bit more rich espresso. 
since it looks like it kind of sunk. And here's our black. Okay. Now let's torch this. Okay, I think we got a good mix. Um, I see some shadowing going on. So let's see if we get something beautiful out of this. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we get. Got some action going on right here. Let's get that little corner. And let's actually give it a little torch. Just a little torch, because I want the pearls to pop up naturally. And I don't even want a lot of pearls. Um, I would be happy if it kind of developed along this side, but we'll see. We'll let it do its thing. And, um, see what happens but i'm really happy with this area um i like that blue uh the red and the black right here the shading or the shadowing i hope that stays oh god it's pretty you know what i think i am going to no no. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Do I want this black to come out like through here a little bit more, a little bit more? That's what I'm thinking. Because I don't like this kind of bubbly look. That's going on right there. So let's uh, let's see. Now I hope I don't mess up anything because I really like what's going on. But I think I want to. No decisions, decisions. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That one little line. <laughs> no, let's add. Nope, that one little line. That's that. That's perfect. That kind of I don't know. It gave it a different look, and I like it. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and let it develop. <sighs> I 
I'm very happy with this one. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. I have been busy as all get out. I had a couple of events last weekend, Saturday and Sunday, preparing for those, doing some resin pieces, and then my regular, you know, my regular job. I do have a regular job other than this. It was just, I was just so busy. And I just, you know, now I'm, 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 I got a chance to stop and breathe. So I'm back. And I think right here, we got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I am loving the black and the red, the hints of orange, the pearls. I'm so excited. Okay. Calm down. So, that's what's been going on. I know I was MIA for a minute, but, you know, life takes over sometimes. Let's see if I can bring you in for a close-up. All right. Look at... Let's see. I don't know. Right here. That little orange line coming down. And look at the formation of the pearls in this area. Okay. So, thank you for tuning in. And, um, oh yeah. <laughs> Stay blessed. Stay safe. See you next part.